Hello, art students. Welcome back to day three of Art Magic, where we are going to be diving into an artist who is like way, 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 way older. Like 18th century, this art is old. And it's a, from Japan. It's, it's like a national treasure, actually, in Japan. It is a screen. So it was like a room divider. So we're seeing it actually a lot smaller than it really is. You kind of have to envision that this screen was like this tall and then went like all the way down there, a really long ways. And in fact, right here is where it like separated and then there was another little separation right there. So it like, it's kind of like a wall, only not, right? Cause it was made um, on paper and ink and watercolor and actual gold leaf. So it's a long story about how they do gold leaf, but all of this is actual gold, not paint. Isn't that interesting? This is by Ogata Kori, and I don't speak Japan, Japanese. I don't speak Japan. Miss Russ. I don't speak Japanese. I truly wish I did. So those of you who do, I apologize if that pronunciation is not as accurate as it should be. It is called the Red and White Plum Balloons. Ooh, that's like a mouthful for Miss Russ. And before we start drawing, I want to point out, so if you're in the United States, right here, look how far we actually have to like cross the Pacific Ocean to get to Japan, which is right there. I don't have a picture of this artist because this is a very old art piece and then I want to get you close so you can see like look at all those amazing details and how the artist made and you can actually look this piece up if you want and get really close made all of this stuff look so amazing all that texture we'll get into that okay so Miss Russ we're here to learn to draw okay so let's get started. First thing I notice is my picture plane, my paper is not the same size as my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and divide this in half and just kind of cross out this bit because this is more the shape of that. Okay, then I am not going to draw lines on here this time. We're going to pick out a line. So I'm going to go maybe right here. Oh, I didn't quite like how that went. Oh, Miss Russ, did I erase? Nope, I just drew over top what I wish I had done. Right, artists don't erase. They draw over top what they wish they would have done. Okay, now another thing I wanna talk about is when I draw, I want you to notice it's like a computer mouse. I wanna move my mouse, but you can't see my mouse, okay. If you were teaching like someone who's like super, super, super old, they use a computer, and you're like, well, you have to take the mouse. What they will do is they will look at their hand, and you're like, no, 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 you gotta look at the screen. Because even though your hand is what's moving, if your eyes aren't on the little, the little, you know, the little arrow, then you can't control the mouse. So what you have to do is, you'll notice my eyes go really slow across this. This is what my eyes are looking at, nice and slow, and I follow where I wanna go. And then I only check in on my hand to make sure that it's like, you know, like when you're using a mouse and all of a sudden your hand falls off the mouse pad, like it's the same thing. You wanna make sure you just check in with your hand. So I'm gonna go here. I'm going to check in with my hand that it's where I want it to be. And then I am like a little computer mouse. I'm kind of just moving along here. It's like it comes up like this. And then it goes over like that. And then I want to come back to here. And it's like this. And then it comes like that. And it goes over and around and down. There's another line in here. Oh, Miss Russ, this is kind of tricky. Not all my lines are are the same like place apart that I want them to be. Well, we don't, we don't worry about that. Oh, Miss Russ, I ran out of room. Well, we don't worry about that. We just kind of keep going with what we can. I'm constantly looking up. Let's see, where am I? This I think is this here. Let's 
looking up as I draw. You should go ahead if you haven't already and start drawing what you see. Okay, now I want us to dive in to details. So let's have you pause your drawing a second and I want you to notice what's gonna happen here, okay? So, as Miss Russ is drawing this tree right now, that is not looking so much like this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding detail, detail, detail. So I'm gonna go back to where I was here and I'm gonna go, okay, well I think this actually goes more like that. And then this line is a little wigglier and then these things are darker and they get like, they go like, like that. And then they have like, and then they have like little, the blooms need to be put down. And I'm just gonna slowly add more and more details to what I see. Okay, then I'm gonna notice, oh, this tree trunk like goes like this. Oh, that doesn't go down there. That's a little higher. See? That goes a little higher. So I gotta go a little higher. And this kind of goes like that, and then it goes up a little bit. All of those details, if you can look, this little part of my tree, let's look at here. I'll pull that out so you can see the right part. Because it's a little hard for you on your screen. So this part of my tree here is looking pretty good. Now this part still needs me to spend more time adding what? Details. Okay, so let's pull you back out. And what I want you to do is I want you to just take a deep breath and I want you to think, okay, for three minutes, as soon as Miss Russ is done talking, I'm just gonna start drawing as many details as I can where I act like I am controlling a mouse and my eye is on the screen rather than on my hand. Happy drawing. Remember, three minutes. You can do it. Bye.